To Hampton and another family tragedy in the middle of the night after fire tore through a home. Three people made it out alive from the house on LaSalle Avenue, but an elderly man who had to be pulled out died at the hospital. Ten of your sides, Ashley Knight has the update from the scene. This devastation, the result of an early morning house fire that killed one man. Friends of that victim tell us it was 67 year old John Edgar Nichols, and they told us he was so caring he would have given you the shirt off his back. I've been knowing him for 10 years. Um, we was best friends, fiance, everything. We, we did everything together. Warm words for a man lost to a house fire in the early morning hours Thursday. It was 2.40 a.m. when this house on LaSalle Avenue in Hampton went up in flames. Edgar John Nichols, who was wheelchair bound, was trapped inside while his son and his family escaped thanks to a smoke alarm. As news spreads of his passing, hearts like these windows shatter. Alvin Brown worked with Nichols at the Lipton plant in Suffolk. He had a real kind heart. He was one of them big teddy bears type of guy. Look intimidating, but once you talk to him, he saw he, he really wasn't. Say nothing he won't do for anybody. He give his heart, his mind, his body, his soul, you know, and he loved God. He put God first in everything. Alvin Brown remembers a time he was on the receiving end of that kindness. It was a time where I was into a little situation and he, he was right there. He, he, he was right there. Without a moment notice, he, I called him, I got you a baby. He called me his baby brother. I got your baby brother. Now sadness mixing with just a little regret. I wish I had spent more time with him. I, I really do. And as for Nichols son, daughter in law and granddaughter, they're being assisted by the Red Cross tonight. Meanwhile, the investigation into the cause of this fire is ongoing in Hampton. Ashley Knight 10 on your side.